Hello! So, today I am working on a mermaid painting. In case you are wondering, mermaid is when you draw or um, paint mermaids in the month of May. So, today I'm painting a um, friendly neighborhood uh, tiger shark mermaid. I don't have a name for her yet, um, so I totally appreciate it if you guys would leave some name suggestions in the comments because um, this is actually the second or third time I've drawn her and I still don't have a name for her. So I um, need to figure that out. But today I wanted to talk about having patience. So watercolor is a very fussy medium that can be difficult to work with sometimes um especially if you have limited patience like i do um i when i work with watercolors i love it it's great but i usually do like one big messy layer and then kind of um figure out the details later instead of nicely um layering and then letting the paint dry before going in again so that my edges are crisp. So I wanted to try to do that for this painting. And I'm actually really satisfied with the result. Well, I think a lot of things need patience. Um, in art, especially, not, not just watercolors. But um, I think you also have to have patience with yourself because Sometimes it can be frustrating that you aren't getting the result that you want or you feel like you're not improving fast enough even though you're working on your art every single day or as much as you can and you feel a bit unmotivated. But I think um, that is definitely a place where you need a little bit of patience because you have to trust the process and trust in yourself that um, you are doing your best and you're going to get better. Even if you can't see it, you are getting better every single time you draw. So I think you should have patience and just trust in yourself and in the process of putting in effort and getting the result you want out of it. But I guess that's kind of all I have to talk about. Um, I just wanted to talk about the materials I'm using. I'm using my Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, it's still the essential set I haven't um, added to my collection yet. But I did get some cool new brushes that I might make a video out of because they are pretty cool. So, um... I also went in with some Windsor Newton designer gouache in permanent white, I believe, and a few um, pearlescent watercolors from Artist Loft. I think it's a set that's a bit underwhelming, but it's it's it works for that little pop of shimmer every now and then, um, some good detail work. And I also went in with some Prismacolor color pencils um, for a bit more rendering on the skin, a bit more contrast, and just um, adding a few details to the hair. And um, that is all. So if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing, share this video with your friends, um, like that would be cool and i guess that's all so um thank you for watching first of all and um i hope to see you soon bye
Thank you.